Hello, good morning. Isel Arias here from Caribe Connection Real Estate. Today, somebody asked me a question uh, over Instagram. She asked, how do I know which area of the Dominican Republic to buy a property in? Uh, that's actually a very good question. This island is actually not that small. We have a lot of different uh, areas. We have mountains, beaches, uh, city. We have um, a lot of different type of beaches. So um, when choosing a property in Dominican Republic, if you're not 100% sure where you want to be, I totally recommend that you think about three things. You should think about the main purpose of your investment. You should think about your lifestyle and you should think about your budget, okay? If you don't have anything that ties you to a certain place, then um, depending on your lifestyle, one type of beach might be better than the other one. For example, if you want to live uh, close to the city, close to Santo Domingo because you like the city life, uh, but you want to live on the beach, Juan Dolio is a perfect place. Juan Dolio is a beach that is like 45 minutes away from Santo Domingo, and you can actually live in Juan Dolio and work in Santo Domingo, no problem at all. Um, uh, if you want to be in a place that is more like, let's say, beaches like Miami, Orlando style, then uh, Punta Cana and Bávaro are really good places. Uh, I have to say that Punta Cana is one area and Bávaro is another one, but we call the whole region Punta Cana, okay? Punta Cana is like 10 minutes, uh, like 10 kilometers, 10, 12 kilometers away from Bávaro. Uh, Punta Cana is a place of a lot of uh, gated communities. Only Punta Cana Resort and Cap Cana have places that are actually on the beach. The rest of what is Punta Cana is gated communities that are not in walking distance to the beach, okay? So if you want to be in walking distance to the beach, you want to be in Bavaro, Bavaro, okay? Um, Bavaro is a little town that is like a seven minute ride away from Punta Cana. And in Bavaro, you have communities like Los Corales that are in walking distance to the beach. Uh, you have El Cortecito, it's a five minute walk to the beach. You have a lot of many different things, no? So um, in Bávaro, the life is more like of restaurants and bars and shopping. It's a little bit more easy going. Of course, you also have activities like snorkeling and things like that, but it's a bit more touristy. So um, there's a large expats community in uh, Bávaro as well. So for a more mellow and, and quiet kind of lifestyle, Bávaro is okay. If you're more of the adventure type and you're looking for a place that is a little bit more bohemian and uh, if you like a lot of like jungle feeling because of vegetation and stuff, then you want to be on the north coast, either in Sosua, Cabarete, um, not, not so much Puerto Plata because Puerto Plata is more of a town, uh, in, like Puerto Plata city, you know, uh, it's not so much, it's a beach town, but Beaches are not like Sosua and Cabaret. It's more of a, of a city kind of uh, uh, style. Then Sosua and Cabaret, along the coastline between Sosua and Cabaret, which is like 12 kilometers, you have so many different type of beaches. It's like Sosua Beach, uh, super flat water, crystal clear water. It's perfect for snorkeling and for, uh, for people who just want to, to hang out at the beach and have a very quiet uh, water, no? And so you have Sosua and then you have Playa Alicia where the water, it, that's like a three minute uh, ride. The water is not so quiet in Playa Alicia, but still quiet. And you have like, this is actually, I have another, another video I posted like two weeks ago about Playa Alicia. Uh, it's a very Mediterranean looking beach, okay? And then you have uh, Encuentro Beach, which is like um, the surfer's beach. You have waves and uh, coral reefs and everything, so it's more for us, for surfers. And then you have uh, Kite Beach, which is the beach for the kite surfers. And then you have Cabareta Beach, which is like a beach for everybody, okay? So depending on where you want to be, if you are a surfer or a kite surfer or you are someone that likes a more bohemian kind of lifestyle, go to the North Coast. If you want a more um, organized uh, kind of lifestyle like um, 
more of gated communities um, like um, that are a little bit more quiet and stuff, then you want to be in Bávaro, okay? So um, Cabarete is a more noisy, bohemian, very Dominican kind of town and holds one of the largest uh, expat communities of the Dominican Republic. So now you know, depending on your lifestyle, you could be in one place or the other, Juan Dolio or Bávaro or Punta Cana or Cabarete or Sosua or Puerto Plata and there are many more places. Uh, the best thing is actually to give us a call, tell us about your lifestyle, and then depending on the things you like, we can suggest uh, being in one place or the other. Then, point number two, the purpose of your investment. What am I doing this for? What am I buying this property for? Do I want to put it uh, up for rent? Uh, is it purely an investment or am I gonna live in it? Uh, if it's purely an investment, maybe you want to invest in Santo Domingo. It's a city. The center of a city is always the center. There's a lot of interesting pre-construction projects in Santo Domingo. Um, if you want a vacation rental and you love Punta Cana but you want to get some money too, Punta Cana is a very good place for vacation rental investment. Also, Cabarete is a very good place for vacation rental investment. And of course, Sosua as well. So that's point number two. We already went through point number one, your type of lifestyle. Point number two, the main purpose of your investment. And now we come to number three, your budget, okay? So depending on the budget you have, you want to be in one place or the other. What is more important for me? To be in a certain place because my friends are there? Or am I flexible about the place and I want to get a little bit more for my money? We have um, places in the North Coast beachfront that start already at $79,000. Yes, $79,000 for a beachfront studio with a nice sea view and everything. Inbox me if you want to know more about it. And we also have uh, one bedroom apartments that start at 95,000 and things like that. Then if you say, no, I want to be closer to the Punta Cana airport because it has a better connection to my country or whatever the reason is, then uh, we also have properties in Punta Cana and in Bávaro. So depending on your budget, if you're a little bit on a tight budget, maybe you wanna be on the North Coast because um, you get more for your money there. If you, are, if you have an open budget, then Bávaro, Punta Cana, of course, have amazing places to be. So let me know and uh, hit me up you can send me a comment here or you can write me a private message you can go to our website www.caribeconnection.com caribe is like caribbean but in spanish c-a-r-i-b-e caribeconnection.com and i will get back to you guys within 24 hours with all the information you want tell me about you tell me more about you and then i can tell you what I think is the best place for you, okay? See you guys, thank you for watching, bye.